right, I'm gonna show you how to create a bear riding a raptor in the wilderness because that sounds terrifying and hey, it's Photoshop so we can do whatever we want. So um, here's what's gonna happen. First, I need to get my dinosaur here over to uh, my wilderness. So the way that I'm gonna do that is you can select your photo on the right tab. I'm gonna select the move tool up top and I'm gonna click and hold on the picture and I'm gonna drag it, I'm still holding. I'm gonna navigate over to my other tab with the picture that I wanna drop it on. I'm gonna bring it back down and then I'm gonna drop my picture. So now I've got my uh, T-Rex here and then what I'm gonna do is I wanna go ahead and resize this. Now um, you might not have this option up top. You need to make sure that you have show transform controls on uh, and that's up in the tools uh, menu up at the top. Um, so go ahead and select that and then once you've done that I suggest holding shift and then grabbing a corner and resizing uh, whatever it is that you want to resize. So I'm going to go ahead and click shift and drag. This is going to keep my image proportional. Now you notice the quality looks terrible and, and it looks like this is going to be a horrendous resize, but I just need to hit enter so that Photoshop can finish doing the hard work of figuring out how to take a very small amount of pixels and increase them into a much larger amount of pixels. So I've got my T-Rex here and now it is time to cut him out. Now, there's a couple ways that you can do this. Um, a lot of people, knee-jerk reaction, you want to go straight for the eraser tool, but I suggest staying away from that because the eraser tool will hide something and we never get it back, and in case you make a mistake, you might want to actually be able to put it back, but Photoshop can only remember for so long. So I like to use a mask instead. The way that you can do that is you are going to select your layer. So I'm in the layers palette. I'm going to click on my layer one. I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to select the quick mask button or add layer mask. So I'm going to select that and now I have a layer mask. The way a layer mask works, you paint black on it, it hides it, you paint white, it shows it. Default, it's going to make this all white. So if I grab my brush tool, you can do that by either selecting on the tool palette or you can hit B on your keyboard. Then I'm going to switch to black right now. See, I've got white as my foreground and I want to change that to black instead. So I can either click on these curvy arrows and it'll flip flop them okay or I can hit X okay and that'll flip them uh, which kind of makes things easier now I'm gonna use those bracket keys that uh, are nice to resize my brush and if I paint black I'm now gonna see my background okay and that's great I can paint around the T-Rex here but it would be way easier if I can use Photoshop's help so I'm gonna use a selection tool so a couple selection tools that you can use number one you've got the quick selection tool which if I paint uh, along with the quick selection tool, then Photoshop is going to try and figure out where the edge of what I'm trying to cut out is. So I can try and fill in that area. Okay. I can also use this other tool. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of that selection. I'm going to do Command and D because I'm on a Mac. You can do Control D if you're on a PC. But I'm going to go here and I'm going to click and hold on this tool, go to my magic wand tool instead. And since I've got a nice white background on this guy, I'm just gonna select that white. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click and Photoshop's gonna find those edges. If I wanna add to that, I can just hold the shift key and then you'll see a little plus sign next to the magic wand. Click again and it's gonna keep adding extra stuff in here. So now I've got this whole T-Rex uh, cut out here. So um, to make my life way easier, I'm gonna hit B on the keyboard I'm going to increase my brush size to be really big um, and I'm going to use a solid edge brush so if I right click I can go ahead and just select that there or you can go up top and select it uh, on the tool options part of Photoshop and I'm just going to paint all that stuff away okay now that it's all gone I don't want that um, that selection to hang out because it might mess something up for later so I'm going to go with command D command D is going to make it so that uh, I can get rid of my selection or you can go up to the top and go to select and then deselect uh, with the file menu uh, from Photoshop. So now I've got my T-Rex. I can take him. I can move him over here, move him back over here. All right, I can increase his size. Again, hold shift while I resize him and put him like that. So I think this would be a good spot right about here. All right. Now that I've got this, I'm going to bring over the bear and do almost the exact same thing. All right, so I'm going to click on my bear tab. I'm going to click and drag 
I'm gonna go up to my wilderness picture here and then I'm gonna drop my bear down, okay? Now the bear is entered into a separate layer so I can edit that individually. Um, I'm gonna make my life a little bit easier and I'm gonna zoom in using command and plus. Command minus will zoom out. And then I'm going to grab my brush tool um, and before I do anything, because if I paint right now, I'm just gonna paint directly on the layer. So if I paint white or black, um, then it's gonna paint it straight to my layer. If I add a mask first though, um, that's gonna make things easier. So if I start painting away, hey, now that's gone, so that's nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that quick selection tool that we were using before, and I'll show you why. If I use the magic wand right now, it gets really confused because there's so many colors going on in my picture. So. Instead, let's have Photoshop do the work. Uh, and I'm gonna go to my quick selection tool right here. And now that I've got that, I can just click and paint, all right? And then as I paint around the bear, it might grab some things that I don't want, okay? So um, I'm selecting the background. Um, you can also select just the bear and paint the bear so that you just have the bear. So uh, it just depends on how you wanna uh, go around something. Um, but it'd probably be easier now that I think about it um, if I just go back and I try and cover just the bear. So um, I've got, uh, let's get rid of that selection, Command D, um, and somehow I changed the tool to be only on subtraction. But <clears throat> we're gonna go here and I'm gonna paint on the bear and you can see it's grabbing way too much information. Okay, so I just want us to have the bear selected and that's it. Um, and as I'm doing that, you can see that it's grabbing all this extra stuff over by his foot. So to make it so I just have the bear selected, I'm gonna hold the Alt key, okay? And I'm gonna paint that around and it's gonna chop off his foot again, but that's okay, because now that the tool is set to go back to the addition sign, I can add in his foot, all right? And uh, right here, I've got this extra little patch. I'm gonna get rid of that. So I'm gonna hold the Alt key on my keyboard and then I'm gonna paint and that'll make it so I can get rid of that little section in there. I'll do the Alt key again right here on the side of his face. I'm gonna go over it a couple times, adding it and subtracting it until I get the selection the way that I want it. Um, and I'll put back whatever, that looks like a, like a tree stump or something like that behind him. Um, and I'm gonna put him back there. So now I just have the bear selected, okay? Two ways you could do this. One, I already have the mask, so I could go ahead and start painting. So if I switch to my brush tool, and then I decide that I want to start um, painting, you'll notice that now I'm locked inside to where the bear is. I can change my selection to do the inverse, which is select everything opposite than what I have selected right now by hitting Shift Command I. And then now if I paint, it'll have the background, okay? Um, another way that I can do this uh, would be to just select this area first, and then as soon as I hit the uh, button on my computer to add the, um, the layer mask, then it'll make it so that um, it'll cut out just where the bear was. Okay, so I got my bear cut out now. A couple different ways that you can do it. You can experiment around. Um, I'm gonna go with Command D to deselect the picture, and then I'm going to take my Move tool and I'm gonna move my bear. Now, uh, right now, I'm seeing right now that I've got uh, an extra little spot right there on my mask, so I'm gonna clean that up with my brush tool. I'm gonna switch back to the move tool. You can hit V on your keyboard, um, and then that'll help you out. Uh, I am going to click once on the corner of my picture, and that's gonna open up transform controls. So all this stuff up here, those are all transform controls. I can right click and you get all these nice options, I'm gonna go ahead and do flip horizontal and this will only affect this layer, okay? So we're gonna make it look like my bear is riding our T-Rex. Um, and let's go ahead and increase the size of the bear. So I'm holding shift as I resize. And then I think right about there should be pretty good. So I'm gonna hit enter when I'm all done resizing, otherwise I can't do anything else. I'm gonna grab my brush tool um, and I'm gonna change the size using those bracket keys located next to the P key on your keyboard. And then um, I'm actually gonna paint his leg back a little bit. See, I'm glad I didn't use the eraser tool because if I used eraser, then I'd be out of luck because I've done a lot of stuff since I cut that bear out. So um, now that I've got him, I'm gonna go ahead and try and clean up some of this stuff using the mass. 
and make it look like this bear is on the ride of his life on the back of a T-Rex, which would be just terrifying if you went through uh, you know, on a hike and saw this. So I'm gonna go back to my brush tool. Let's leave that paw out in front and then I'm just gonna find where the back of the T-Rex is here. He's right there, okay. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff so it looks like he's straddling the T-Rex there. Um, and then let's go back to the move tool and I'm gonna find a good spot. I think that looks probably pretty good of like where the bear would be on top of him. And then uh, I'm gonna switch back to my brush tool. So I'm gonna hit B on the keyboard. And then I can paint black and try and smooth this out a little bit. It's like right there. I'm gonna hit X and make it so that I can paint some of that stuff back. So it's like smooth right on top of that guy right there. And let's go back, let's put his paw back, clean that up. And then this is looking like we got a bear hanging out on top of a T-Rex. Now I kind of am catching this, so I'm gonna, the last thing I'm gonna do is kind of zoom in and take a look here. Um, it looked like I had some extra little lines that were cruising around. Um, and you gotta be careful, because sometimes you get like one pixel. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I feel like I got one pixel right there at the top of my T-Rex. So I'm gonna go to my T-Rex mask, so I go over to the layer palette, select my T-Rex layer, select the T-Rex mask so that I know what I'm drawing on, and then I'm gonna paint black so it goes over it, and I'm gonna get rid of that little line that I've got going across the top of the picture. Let's zoom back out, and I feel like I've got it going down here too. A quick trick for you um, is if you click on one point of this line right here, and then I click on the next point, I hold shift in between and click, it will erase it with a straight line with a brush. Um, so then I don't have to follow it as easily or as hard. Um, and I'm gonna change my brush tool. Let's clean back up his tail. Whoops, let's just go back a couple steps um, and see what we got going on here. It looks like that line is gone. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. So right now I have a bear riding a T-Rex through the forest. Now the next video that I show you we're gonna try and make this look a little bit more realistic, add in some shadows and stuff. Um, but for now, um, we're just gonna stick with this. So we've made a composite picture of three separate images and brought them into one final picture.